Good morning, YouTube. This will be part three of trying to answer the following question. Does a Raspberry Pi plus Kodi equal a media center extender? In a previous video, I listed some key features of a media center extender. So let's continue to the next feature comparing media center or an extender to Kodi. Feature number four is searching the electronic program guide or EPG and media libraries to find content or set up recordings. A true media center search can't easily be done on a separate device since it's based upon the Windows search indexer and database on the Windows Media Center. So if you watch the processes that run when you update the guide information in Media Center, you see the Media Center store update task run. It initially queries the TV tuner drivers and zaptoit.com for EPG data. Then it accesses all media network or AMG data for additional program and movie information, at least in certain countries. This additional data is not shared via server WMC to a Kodi client, and also some of it may not be shared with a media center extender. For example, in media center, I can be watching Gilligan's Island. This is a recording I did. You can see I've got all these other actions here. It'll show up other showings automatically. I can go to cast and crew. I could, for instance, search for Bob Denver. And here it's searching the movie library that I have. And this includes movies that I actually have as well as all the other movies that have Bob Denver as an actor. And then I can also search TV shows. So this shows me all the upcoming TV shows in which Bob Denver was an actor in as well. And this is all just with a single click. I haven't had to type anything. And also, it doesn't show up in this show, but certain shows will also have similar programs listed as well as cast and crew. Just depends on whether this guide data and additional data for that show includes similar shows or not. But Windows Media Center has no way of searching your video library for content that is not a movie or a live TV recording. So this search works with movies, live TV recordings, but it doesn't work with your video library. So this content here, whatever's under this library, is not searched at all. In fact, it's not even searchable by any means. So let's switch to Kodi here. So Kodi has a fairly powerful looking search capability. So, for instance, I've typed in Gilligan, and it shows me the upcoming episodes of Gilligan's Island, very similar to Media Center, but I had to type in Gilligan. That's what I had to type in. If I type in, for instance, I want to do Bob Denver, search, you can see a lot more clicking and typing involved. And you'll notice this search result is giving me everything that includes the word Bob, Bob Newhart, Bob the Builder, Denver the Last Dinosaur. These shows probably that don't have Bob in the title might have Bob or Denver in the description. So we could fix that by making this Bob Denver in quotes, typing on my little RII keyboard here, which works pretty good. That's this little uh, wireless keyboard. So that, that works pretty good for Cody. Okay, so we'll search. And if I search for exactly Bob Denver, I don't find anything because if we look at 
Cody gets in the video description. You can see down here at the bottom, you get Lassie and you get an extraordinary collie helps humans with problems. Repeat. So that's all that shows up in the EPG. There's no cast and crew. You know, none of these say starring, you know, Bob Denver. The TV program guide search in Cody only searches on program title and description in the currently loaded EPG. Those program descriptions are very brief, unless they happen to include the actors in the show description. You're not going to find the actor by searching the program guide. I'll show you one other example here. If I go to recordings, so let's look at that same recording that I was in Media Center, and let's find similar. If we find similar, and now it's searched for, go back here, you can see it's searching for not similar, but exactly the same. Not trying to find Gilligan's Island, it's trying to find The Kidnapper, which is the name of the episode. Now this one would find, we could probably find Don Rickles. So that should show up if I search for what I need to do is include the description because it's normally only searching for program title. You can see here this is only searching the program guide. This is programs that are coming up in the next three days by default. It doesn't search your recorded TV library. So it only searches up coming shows, not previously recorded shows. This particular search only searches the program guide. You can search in the movie library and find movies. You can search in your TV show video library and find TV shows, but there's for nowhere where you can search your recorded TV programs. So there's no integration of movies and TV recordings in Kodi for search. In fact, there's no integration of program guide and TV recordings. And I think in Media Center you can't search your recordings, but you can start from a recording and use that to create your search results. So a Media Center extender has a somewhat less powerful search capability than the Media Center PC itself, but it's probably better than what Cody has. Now if you never knew you could search like this in Media Center, not having this feature isn't that big a deal. But if you use the search feature all the time in Media Center, you won't be able to access it from Cody. So I think Media Center wins this one an extender perhaps a little less so. In the next video I'll look at managing the live TV recording schedule in Windows Media Center and Kodi to see how those features compare. If anyone has any further thoughts or questions put that in the comment section below. Perhaps there are tips I haven't run across to make Kodi even better. I'm fairly new to Kodi myself. Check out some of my other cable cutting and Cody videos in the playlist link here. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.